We're out here on the pond today. We've got a beaver dam. We're going to try to make a use of PVC pipe going through this dam. We've got rain coming, so we'll make it quick. But the goal is we can control the water level of what's behind us. So y'all stay tuned and we'll see if we can get it done. Maybe before this rain, maybe the Passover is on, but we'll find out. digging for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, we got this pole knife and dug out um, for the pipe. We're going to run a pipe through here so we can control the water level. Um, this is a good idea for any of y'all duck hunters that want to control the water level of your pond um, just so you can plant it and um, get some food in here for the ducks so they like it a little bit better. Um, so we we'll won't get to it putting this pipe in. So we've got it cleared out that way. A little dirt right here to hold back the water. I'm finishing cleaning out this side. My pipe's gonna have a little bow in it because of that log, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna break this and release the, the water down through here so we can slide the pipe in. If your water's running, you know you dug your ditch right because it's all downhill. And that water will help you. Erosion will pull that dirt out and it'll clean your trench. Uh, you to slide that pipe right in. And this is a uh, 20 foot piece of 4 inch PVC pipe. No matter what schedule it is. Let's see how easy this goes. Is this working? check the other end to make sure it doesn't have any dirt in the end of it. All right, here's the end of our pipe. Free of, free of dirt. As you can see there's water coming out. So it's working like it's supposed to. So now what we're going to do is probably just shovel around the end of this so it doesn't get stopped up. And uh, with it being underwater, the beavers shouldn't have an issue with it outflow and trying to stop it up but the other end will be so we'll, we'll fix that end up where we can control the water level. Just try to fill in that fill in that hole. Drop some sticks down in there too, that'll help us. We got a flowing T here with a end cap and a clean out on the end of it. This way, if our pipe ever gets stopped up on one end or the other, we can unscrew this clean out and take a long piece of uh, rebar or something like that and shove down in there and clean our pipe out so it, it'll continue flowing. Um, what I'm gonna do now is our pipe's on just a little bit of an angle so water will drain out. What I'm going to do is, I've already figured out about where I want my T to be to give me the, the low side uh, water level, the lowest it can ever be. So it's going to be about right here. 
Um, so that's going to put my water level right here when it's lowest, at the lowest point. Uh, and that's going to help keep my clean out out of the uh, water as well, or out of the mud. Um, so we're going to cut our pipe right here, and then this pipe will be used to plug this hole so that uh, this little beaver pond will hold water uh, once the rain comes. You can see here our pipe is draining just like it should. Um, and I've got this cleaned out where the mud is away from it so it's not going to suck a bunch of mud down through there. Uh, so now I'm going to stick this T on. And that's going to hold water. Okay, so our lowest point, this pool is actually below the lowest point right now. The lowest point when I, uh, when it gets up to pool is going to be right here where this is. So then, whenever we want to raise the water level after we've left it dry, got it planted, uh, and it comes fall, probably about this time next year, when we come to here, we're going to want to raise the water level. So I'm going to put either some clay or some wax or something around this end, and then we're going to drop this down in here, like that. Then the pool will be able to fill up to the highest point right above, right below the dam, and it'll flood our rice or millet or whatever we decide to plant in here. Um, and then after the season's over, when we want to drain it, we just pull this pipe. Water level will be up here, and it'll drain without us having to even touch it. All right, here we have a old tomato basket. Uh, one that was too big and we didn't ever use it. What we did was we cut the wires, bent them back so that it would go around the pot. What this is for is to keep debris and everything else like that from getting in our pipe. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get around here and push it down in the mud. Okay, and that's gonna keep our pot flowing with clean water. All right, we just finished up here. We got the pipe in right there with the T-post and the screen, just to keep debris out when when the water's coming through. Looks real good right now. Over here at the pond. Then back here, gonna be a flooded timber spot with some planted stuff. Hope to have a good season this year. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, just comment below and we'll answer.